Hi everyone, in this video demonstration, I'm going to show you how to set up and connect the Sennheiser G4 Lavalier wireless system with a camera such as the Sony Alpha 7 Mark III. Okay, first of all, let me introduce you to the components of the Sennheiser G4 wireless Lavalier system. Okay, so first of all, you have the receiver. You can see there's a hot shoe mount over here. Okay, so this goes to the camera. I'll show you later. This is the transmitter. You can see there's a clip here, so it can help you to clip to the talons, belt or pocket and, and so on or you can put this in the pocket as well okay then we also have the lavalier the wired lavalier microphone so this connects to the transmitter and then we have two connecting table so this is the one that uh, we're going to use in this demonstration so this is the 3.5 mm uh, input the right angle goes to the record input of the camera and then this one with the screw goes to the receiver. Then over here, we have the XLR connector. You can use the XLR connector to connect to an XLR device such as the Zoom H5 or another external recorder. Without further ado, let me demonstrate how to set up the system. So first of all, I'm going to show you how to connect the receiver to the camera. We have to put in the battery first. So to, in order to put in the battery, you have to open. You okay, just press the two button at the side. And then you can open the battery compartment door. Make sure you use AA alkaline battery. I recommend Panasonic battery. I think it's one of the longest lasting, but you can also use other reputable brands such as uh, Duracell or Energizer. Please do not use super heavy duty battery it will run out very fast and then there's a higher chance of the battery leaking. Okay, so uh, try to stick to alkaline. So, if you look at the battery compartment, you can see that there's a battery diagram. You can see the battery polarity. Okay, so positive is over here, negative is over here. Okay, so just follow. Just put in the battery. Once you have put in the battery already, you can turn on the receiver you probably want to turn on the receiver at this point okay the on off button is actually hidden inside the battery compartment this is to prevent any accidental turning off of the receiver so i'm going to turn it on so most of the setting right should be default you shouldn't have to change anything later we have to double check the frequency of the receiver matches the transmitter so in order to uh, connect the receiver to the camera, you have to take off the hot shoe mouth cover. So take this out. Any loose parts or accessories of the camera, I always put into the camera bag. All right, yeah, I'm just going to put it here for now. By right, the receiver right should go in this manner. Okay, let me connect and then I'll show you. Okay, so to tighten, just tighten the screw. Okay, then we use the 3.5 mm connection cable. So this goes to the receiver, the one with the screw. Okay, plug it in and here click and then you can screw it in. So this is to prevent any accidental pulling of the cable. You can see a professional equipment is very well designed. Then over here, Camera with a microphone input, right? We have something like this. Okay, so it's in red, usually in red color. Okay, so this is a 3.5 AM input. So we connect the right angle part to the microphone input. Okay, so you can see that the cable, right, is kind of dangling very near the lens and possibly it can go in front of the lens, thus affecting your shoot. Okay, so some professionals, right, they have this trick. Okay, so instead of pointing the antenna towards the talent, I mean by right you should do this, but but the, there's this problem on the cable dangling. Okay, so what you can do, you can mouth the receiver sideways. Let me tighten this. So now you can see that the cable doesn't dangle in front of the lens. 
the best is to point towards the talent, but I mean, this is also fine. As long as your talent is not too far away, there shouldn't be any problem. So the camera is set up. Let me just turn on the camera. Okay, next. Transmitter. Okay, so first of all, let's put in the battery. Okay, same thing. You can see the, there's two buttons at the side. Press to open up the battery compartment and then follow the polarity. Okay, just a gentle reminder, make sure you use AA alkaline battery only. Okay, uh, before you close, you can turn it on. Press to turn it on and then press long hold to turn it off. So now we want to double check that the frequency is the same. Okay, so you can see the frequency over here. Okay, so just double check that the frequency is the same. You shouldn't have to change any of the default setting. It should work as it is, okay? As long as the frequency is similar. Next. Okay, we're going to put on the wired level here, microphone. Now, before I put this on, right, I want to show you something, okay? So you can see that the cable, if we mount the lavalier in this manner, the cable might, you know, show at the, at the bottom, okay? So it's not very nice. So one way to manage the cable better, right, is simply to open up the clip, okay? Open the clip and put in the cable. So we have something like a loop. Okay, can you see? Something like a, a loop. Let me show you. So this will look nicer when you put on. Alright. Next. For a meal talent. Let's say I'm wearing a t-shirt and there's no good way of putting a lavalier mic using a, a t-shirt. Okay, so try to avoid wearing a t-shirt. Okay, but let me just drop on the table. Okay, so the level is still on top. Okay, I just drop the, the, the other part of the wire down through the t-shirt. Okay, then I just pull this. And then the clip is over here. So I can simply just clip something like this. Okay, like I say, there's no nice way of clipping the level layer mic on the t-shirt. So you can also see that, remember the level layer mic Try to point up, and then I can't really see myself, but okay, it should be pointing up. And then the cable, you can see the loop, so you will make it nicer. Other ways of managing the level layer right, is you can probably use a tape to tape it inside the T-shirt. Okay, you can refer to other video tutorials on how to hide the wireless level layer microphone. Okay, I won't be discussing in this uh, video demonstration. Okay, so the other end of the cable, we have to plug into the transmitter. So over here, make sure the mute button is not on accidentally. Otherwise, uh, there won't be any transmission. Plug it in and then again, screw it in so that there won't be any accidental pulling. So now I can either clip this in the pocket or I can maybe put in the pocket or clip to the belt. Now, what if you have a female talent? If you have a female talent, right, then you probably don't want to drop the cable like what I showed you just now. If possible, get a female assistant to help the female talent. And then if you have another room or restroom, you know, just ask the female talent to go to the restroom or another room so that she has privacy in putting on the level of microphone. If you are in a place where there is nowhere to hide, there's no privacy, then one suggestion is to ask your female talent to turn around so that nobody can see. Like. Okay, so that would be a better way of uh, putting on the wireless level for female talent. Alright, so let me show you how to set up the audio level in the camera. Okay, let's come to the camera and then let's press the menu button. 
then go to the movie tool page so double check that audio recording is on and then audio level display is on as well let me show you what this is about let me go back to the shooting mode and then you can see channel 1 and channel 2 so these are the audio level so now let's go to the audio record level and then you use the DAO to control the volume your target right is you want your volume the peak volume to be around minus 12 to minus 6 okay mic test mic test mic test test testing 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 one two three one two three one two three mic test mic test mic test one two three one two three one two three okay so basically you want to leave a bit of buffer okay a bit of room so that in case there's any loud noise uh, there's a bit of buffer you never want your recording level to hit zero decibel or hit red color otherwise your recording will be distorted that's all i want to show you i hope this will be useful thank you for watching Thank <laughs> you.